Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five red lipsticks. I think red is such an iconic lipstick color. I think everyone needs their perfect red lipstick in their possession. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorites and hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration about what kind of red would suit you the best and possibly what you'd like to pick up. So let's just get right into it. The first lipstick that I'm sharing with you today is my Clarins Rouge Eclat lipstick in the shade Wood Rose. This has been my absolute favorite lipstick for the last two years. As you can see, it is quite a muted red. I would say on deeper skin tones, this is more of a nude, but on my skin tone and fairer complexions, this is definitely leaning more towards the red side, but I can still wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. I can wear this to work, and it's not bright or in your face at all. It's definitely a very, very wearable color. So as you can see, this is a very muted red color and it's also got a very creamy consistency, which means it is super comfortable to wear. It does last quite well, but you do have to reapply it during the day just because it is a really comfortable, creamy consistency. But as I said before, I just find this to be the perfect everyday, slightly red shade for me. And considering that this has been my all-time favorite lipstick for the last two years, I definitely think it's worth the high-end price tag. The next shade that I have here is a little bit brighter. This is from Clinique. It's one of the matte pop lipsticks and this one's in the shade Ruby Pop. Uh, this is a bit of a orangey red. I tend to be attracted less to true reds and more to reds with a bit of something else in them like a berry red or an orangey red or a pinky red. So this is one of my favorite types of reds to wear, the orangey red. So as you can see, this shade is a lot brighter than the last one I showed you. This, for me, is the perfect one for a pop of color in like spring and summer when I want to wear a red, but not like a true red, because like I said, those aren't my favorites. The other draw to this one is that it is a matte formula, but it's super comfortable. This one has never felt uncomfortable on me at all. So as long as I don't eat in like the first five to 10 minutes of applying it, it dries down completely and then it won't transfer at all during the day. So this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I do have another shade in this formula as well, and I love both of them. Again, in my opinion, it is worth the high-end price tag. And to be honest, it's not that expensive in terms of high-end makeup. The next lipstick I have to show you is from the drugstore. This is an Australian brand called Natio, and you might have heard me talk about Natio before on my channel. I think they have some really, really great products for the price that they sell them at, um, and they try to use mostly natural ingredients, so they're pretty good for your skin as well. The packaging is pretty plain. The packaging isn't the best because when the lipstick's full, it touches the top of the lipstick lid, but the actual product is pretty nice. And this is the closest to a true red that I am going to show you today. It's a little bit darker than a true red, but again, that's just because of my preferences. I actually forgot to tell you the name of this lipstick. It's called Rush and this is what it looks like. Um, probably the worst application in the history of forever but you can still see the color. So the formula of these lipsticks is creamy and they don't dry down at all, so they do need to be re reapplied throughout the day. However, I do think they have really good pigmentation and they are really comfortable to wear through the day as well. I do have a swatch video up on my channel of my Natio lipsticks. If you would like to check that out, I'll leave it in the description box. I used to have, uh, I think seven shades, maybe a few more. Um, I did get rid of some of them though because they weren't my favorite shades. So I just kept the ones that I really loved. And this was one of the ones that I have kept. The next lipstick is one of my newer favorites. Jonathan got this for me for Christmas. It is a YSL lipstick, my one and only YSL lipstick. This is in the shade 212 from the Rouge Pour Couture, the mattes line. And mattes are my favorite lipstick formula, as long as they feel comfortable, which this one does because you don't have to reapply them through the day. And the shade of this one is a berry red, a dark berry red, which again is one of my favorite types of reds. So this is what the color looks like on. It goes on really creamy and then it dries down to a matte finish like I said so you don't have to reapply it through the day. You can eat and drink and it doesn't transfer. So this is the type of red that I would typically go for in autumn and winter which is kind of what we're going into here in New Zealand right now. Whereas like I said the Clinique one I would reach for more in spring and summer because it's a brighter type of red. 
So to me the only drawback to this lipstick is the price because YSL is a very expensive brand. Um, I'm really lucky to have this because it was a gift but I'm not sure if I would spend my own money on something quite this expensive. So on the topic of YSL lipsticks being really expensive, the last lipstick that I have to show you is kind of a dupe for that last YSL one. This is from Rimmel from the Kate Moss Mattes line in the shade 107, which I'm sure you've all heard of because it's Zoella's favourite lipstick. And it's a pretty similar colour. Let me show them to you side by side. Zoella's a um, uh, makeup YouTuber, if you don't know. Yeah, yeah. She's, kind of, she's, she's only got a few subscribers. She's, um, she's, st she's just starting out. You should, I'll link her description in the channel name. So this is the Rimmel and the YSL lipstick side by side. The Rimmel one is, if anything, maybe a little bit lighter, but they're pretty similar. And if you were just to wear one, no one would know which one you were wearing. And they're both a matte formula, although I think the YSL one is better. But if you are on a budget and you're just going to get like one cheap lipstick, I would recommend the Rimmel definitely. So this is the Rimmel lipstick on the lips. As you can see, it is a little bit lighter than the YSL one. Um, and the other difference between them is even though this one still feels comfortable, it does emphasize any like dry patches or lines that you have on your lips a little bit more. I tend to find with the higher end lipsticks, they just completely smooth over your fine lines on your lips and you can't see them at all. Whereas that's the difference with a drugstore lipstick. It doesn't do that quite as well. But definitely on a budget, this is a beautiful colour and it's a, a pretty good formula as well. So I definitely recommend checking this one out. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I gave you a little bit of red lipstick inspiration. Let me know what your favourite lipstick is in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. I post a new video every Monday and Thursday and I will see you next time. Bye!